Welcome to this part of the course. In this section, we are going to be looking into how we can use if, then, or else statements in SAS. The way if statements work is that they execute SAS statements or SAS code only if a particular condition is satisfied. Say, for example, looking into this example that we have, in our data step, we can see that if age is greater than 14 and weight is less than 115, we want to output that observation in the data, which we call if example. So based on those conditions, we want to execute the following statements. Then if, then or else statements. If, then or else statements, Execute a size statement for rows that also meet specific conditions. So let's look for example, let's say if age is greater than 14 and weight is less than 115. So if that condition is not met, SAS will execute whatever they to specify on the else statements. Let us head over to SAS Studio so that this makes much sense. In this video, we are going to learn how can we use if, then, or else statements in SAS. These, these statements, they only execute a SAS statement if the, a particular condition is being met. Let us look at how our data looks like. If you run this, so our data only contains two columns, the name of the student and also the test scores. What we are going to do is we are going to have grade levels, but these grade levels are based on the test scores of each student. So let us see how can one do this in SAS. So first we create our data set, let's call it grade levels. We want to use max. Following is our if statements. So if statement in SAS is, has a following syntax. We have if then the condition. So what is our condition? Our condition is that if we have a test score that has a value that is greater or equals to 80, what do we want to do? Then we want to have level, which is A. So based on the, the test score, a student will be graded or will have a level which is A. Else, if that is not the condition, we need to set another condition. So we use else if. Else if the test score is greater or equals to 70. So these are the test scores that are between 70 and 80. And test score is less than 80. So if this condition is met, so these are the test marks or the test scores that are between the value of 80 and 70%. Then the level the student will get is B. If both of these if and else if statements are not true, so we will create the student level C. And to do that, we use an else statement. So we simply just say else level is C. Then we are done. 
So let's see how our new data sets look like. So from the output, we can observe that we've created a new column based on imposing a condition on test, on test scores. Next, we are going to demonstrate the else, the if, then, or do. 